So I've come in the rabbit tree this morning. Sorry for the poor lighting. It was gonna get really cold tonight and with so many rabbits expecting to um, give birth today. I didn't want it to be too cold in here. Um, I came in the barn this morning and Rosie is pulling fur. She's um, is, um gathering from her bib and her sides and her back, um, like her bum area, and filling it, her, filling her mouth with fur, and then she's going. That's um a mo usually a sign that they're gonna give birth in a few hours. So I just turned on the um, barn light here. It was dark in here um, a few minutes ago. So she thinks it's just now dawn or day and daytime. So, um, I will be checking very frequently for baby bunnies. And as you can see, she is very fat. Like, she is huge. She also pulls fur from around her nipples so that the babies can find them easier. So one way I tell that Rosie has given birth is that if you notice how, just how fat she is right now, and then I'll come in, hopefully in about a few hours, and she'll look very skinny. So, at least that's how it is with her. So, some rabbits like don't change sizes at all, but yeah. We have nest boxes, like traditional wood nest boxes for Lolo and for Charity, but um, they only had two at Tractor Supply when we went there, and we've gone there like a lot since, and they haven't had more. So, um, I just have this, um, see these two dog house, uh, not dog house, like cat crate things, and. There's like openings at the bottom and I've used those in the past but I just put those there because um, she'll just use that. I think she's built a nest in this one. I can see like I put some hay sort of around here a little bit ago and she's piled it all in there. So she's probably going to use the one that's under the water. But I just put this um, pallet here because I know I thought it felt safe and sort of just fun to do. And then so that's what that is and we will be checking for babies shortly. And no babies for charity yet, and I'll be checking up a lot on her too. Today is day 31 of her pregnancy as well as day 31 of Rosie's. So she has a, oh look at her. Okay, let's see if we, up. Oh. hmm. Oh, I really want to go in there and see what she's doing, but I don't want to bug her. Okay, so I don't see Rosie, I came back from doing chicken chores and I'm looking and I don't see her so she could be in the middle of giving birth right now or she could just be sleeping somewhere so we'll check back later so I've it's a little bit later and Rosie has pink on her nose and on her paws and she looks a lot skinnier so I'm gonna check her nest and see if she gave birth I think she has Look at that beautiful nest. Okay, we have in here um, 10 babies. So I counted and there are four um, solid black babies, three blue babies or solid gray, two spotted white and gray babies, and one spotted black baby. So four, three, two, one. All the baby bunnies were full and healthy and there weren't any dead ones or anything. So that is really awesome. So now, so all the babies are doing good and I will come check on them again this evening and I'll make sure to hold them a lot because um, when you hold baby, bunny, baby bunnies a lot, they are a lot nicer and they don't, like, they're not scared of you or anything. So especially when you're trying to sell babies, that's like you want friendly bunnies to sell, so. That's why I hold them all the time. And yeah, so we'll come check back in a few hours. Still nothing in Charity's nest though. My rabbit gave birth today and I'm super excited. Okay, so Lolo gave birth to two babies, which 
So Lola gave birth on Friday, Rosie gave birth on Saturday, and Charity has just given birth on today, Sunday afternoon. So I came in like 30 seconds ago, and if you can see, there's a little bit of blood on some of just the fur scattered around the cage. I saw the blood, I came over here and looked, and I see the little bum, like a tiny bit of baby bunny in there. So I ran inside to get my um, rabbit clothes on, it's like my skirt and stuff, and my rabbit jacket that can get scratched and bitten and nasty all the time, and came to get the camera, and I have not seen them yet, I haven't counted them, I haven't held them or anything. Um, I don't want to disturb them, especially because Charity is being such a good mom this time, I don't want to give her any reason to stop her good behavior, so I'm going to maybe cover them up a tiny bit more, and just, like, I don't know, I'm not going to move the nest box or anything, and then I'll tell you what I find. I just covered them up with more fluff, I saw a little bit of pink baby bunny, I saw a little bit of um, black baby bunny, and so I'm guessing they're going to be sort of charity color babies and some black babies? I don't know. I haven't like gotten a good look at them or anything. I'm just going to um leave them and then when it gets dark and she feeds them after she feeds them and like sort of like sort of late at night I'm gonna come maybe and check on them again. Um making sure they're warm. I don't want her to be stressed out or bothered by anything and so I'm not gonna move the nest. I'm not gonna hold them yet. I'm just going to let her if she hasn't fed them already, I'm gonna let her feed them this evening. And then I'll check on them then and see how they're doing. So, yay, baby Angoras, and they're alive. And also, I think the first time she had babies, um, like she had babies, and then I moved them and held them and put them in a different nest box, and that sort of threw her off. So that might have been why she didn't um, nurse them, and they all died. So I'm not gonna do anything. And I'd rather there be, I don't know. But like I'm worried, like what if there's a dead kit in there and they it chills everyone else? Hmm. Um hmm. New plan. So I'm going to Oh, I don't know, because if there's a dead kit in there, like it was born, stillborn or something, then I it might chill the rest of the litter and kill it. But, it, and if I don't check on it and remove it, then they'll all die. Maybe. But if I check on them and stuff, and then Charity's all, like, thrown off and is like, what going on? I don't like these babies. And then doesn't nurse them, then they'll all die. So, I don't know what to do. Um, maybe I, maybe I'm going to feel them in the nest and feel and make sure they're all alive. I'm not going to examine them. I'm not going to look at them or anything. I'll just do it real quick and... Hopefully that goes good, so I might try that. I've counted them, they are all alive, there are seven of them, there are multiple little pink ones and multiple little black ones. Um, she gave birth in the front of the nest and she's checking on them, and hopefully she's smelling them and they smell normal. They are tiny compared to those meat rabbits. I guess in real life angoras are only like six pounds or something because, especially English angoras, but they always look so big. So these babies are they're like so much smaller. They are a smaller breed, but just, just really fun. And they are fed, I think. So that's good. And I'm not going to mess with them anymore. But that's good to know. They're all doing good and they're fed. And she pulled fur and everything, so... Uh, I'm not gonna move them around anymore. I'm gonna check on them in a little bit. I'll bring you along with me then. So that brings us up to 19 baby bunnies born in three days. So that is really awesome. As of right now, they are all doing very well. They're all being fed and they're all warm and safe and everything's awesome with them. So um, I'm going to continue to check on them regularly and make sure everything's going good and handling them. Um, I'm going to have my work cut out for me uh, a lot with these baby angoras. I have never had baby angoras that have been um, staying alive for a while. So I'm going to have my hands full trying to train them and get them all good and stuff. But I'm really excited. This is what I've been, baby angoras, I've been um, dreaming of those for about like four years. And this is the most promising time that I think 
will actually have babies like that survive. So, and then of course my little sister is super excited about her babies, her baby bunnies, and as always, like meat rabbits are just oh they're so adorable with their little spots and everything. So, I'm really excited, and I will um, continue to update you about them tonight, and then I'll post the video and maybe do another video about um about them like when they're one week or something so look for a one week old baby bunny video update thing soon okay so thank you so much guys for watching this video I know that baby bunnies um, surviving and being cute and being born and being fed and no problems happening is really good to um to hear and see so hopefully it stays that way hopefully it don't come out tonight and I jinxed it and there's like all the baby baby bunnies are dead or something but so hopefully it doesn't happen and thank you for watching the video I hope you enjoyed it and maybe learned something from it and thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye all right it is day two of um, the baby angoras being born they are um, this is their first morning they um they're in there it's sort of hard to see so I'm going to just do my checking up on them and make sure they're full. Oh, this guy, look at him. He is so full.